Republican Vice President J.D. Vance is here in western Pennsylvania this weekend. While here, KDKA's Ricky Sayer looked into this and joins us now from Monroeville. A Permani spokesperson tells us this all comes down to some momentary confusion for members of their staff. We're told there was no advance notice that Vance would be coming. They also say they have long hosted political candidates from across the spectrum. The North for Sales Permani Brothers has suddenly been thrust into the political spotlight. Vance was banned from Permani Brothers. He was banned from making a, a, a stop there for political reasons. A Permani Brothers spokesperson says what Washington County Republican Party Chair Sean Logue told us is inaccurate. Logue is one of what he says were about 100 Trump supporters who'd been tipped off that Vance planned to make a stop there. They arrived about an hour early. The manager told patrons, other Republicans, that Vance is not allowed to make a campaign stop at Permani Brothers. And then when there was pushback to say, wait a second, Kamala Harris just did this a month ago, the response was, well, if he wants to sit down and order food, we can't stop him. Vance arrived ahead of another campaign stop in Monroeville. And next thing you know, the manager runs out and tells him that he is not allowed in the restaurant, that he cannot have a campaign stop here. And uh, if he goes into the restaurant, she will call the police and file trespassing charges on him. I think it's absolutely insane. Many Trump supporters exited the restaurant and began taking pictures with Vance outside. Pramani says Vance and his team were then welcomed into the restaurant where they were able to talk with guests. Logue tells a different story. Number one, he was not welcomed. And then J.D. Vance, on his own accord, risking a trespass charge, walked into Pramani's, paid the bill for all of us, and walked out two minutes later. Before leaving, Vance addressed those outside. Look, I think what happened is she just freaked out a little bit because there were a lot of people and she didn't want to make her restaurant part of a campaign stop. It's all right. Don't hold it against her. She just got a little nervous, but it's a great local business. Let's keep on supporting it. Permani says what Vance shared was accurate. Senator Vance is a true gentleman and he was being very nice and very gracious and he was being magnanimous. Uh, and he didn't want to cause any other problems. I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you that the way Permani Brothers treated me and the other Republicans is absolutely unacceptable, and nowhere in their statement is an apology. Where's my apology, Permani Brothers? Permani says they are glad what happened was resolved quickly. In North for Sales, Ricky Sayer. K yeah, so uh, J.D. Vance took a trip to uh, Philly, I believe it is, Pittsburgh, excuse me, and, uh, you know, Permanis, which I'm sure you guys may recognize because Kamala took a trip to Everyone just Permanente canceled. Bros. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. Took a trip to Permanente Bros. And this is how it played out. You guys remember this clip? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They kicked us out of Permanente Bros. And they said, You're terrible people. Tell us again what happened at Permanente Brothers? They kicked us out of Permanente Brothers so that they could get the paid actors inside. Ridiculous. Yes. There's all the paid actors. Look at all these people. My God. Holy hell. All these actors in these vans. <laughs> yeah. Kicked out Trump supporters that were there, uh, you know, just enjoying their meals to host a staged meet and greet with Kamala y'all remember this <laughs> 85 years between the three of us teaching 85 years Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, amen. It's noble work. Yeah, proud to do it. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. 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 Thank uh, well, this is how they treated Uncle, well, I was going to say Uncle Trump, but J.D. Vance, uh, when he showed up. I'll show you guys some more clips. We're not welcome to be here. We're not welcome to have the president here and the senator cannot come in here and shake your hand before you the owner. We 
You're going to take out all of your names the next time you're in town. We're going to have a special event just with you. Oh, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. So yeah, you could you could barely hear it there because there was music playing, but uh, they took down the the patrons' names and will apparently have a meeting, a private meeting with them at some point in time when JD Vance is back in town, which is the way that you should do it, right? Uh, people showed up to see you. Uh, unfortunately, the business. Uh, didn't want to participate, I guess, in a political event, even though they hosted one for Kamala, which I'm getting to that here. In a, I'll get more into that here in a second, because, hey, us Trump supporters, we don't play about that. OK, and uh, it showed. But uh, I do want to show you guys a clip of the manager that was behind, allegedly behind uh, part of this whole debacle. Check it out. No cameras, folks. No, no cameras. We're not doing an event here. No, no, no cameras. We're not doing an event here. I've explained this a bunch of times. Folks are welcome to come and have lunch. But we're not having a campaign event here. Max, hold I have, him. Max, hold I have him. explained hold this him. multiple times. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, so you saw that. Um, they cannot have a campaign event, no cameras. But Kamala could walk in with all the cameras in the world, though. Interesting how that works. And not only that, but bus in a bunch of people, which you guys saw the vans, uh, which it's kind of a recurring theme when Kamala comes into town. Anywhere she goes, there's a bunch of buses or vans or something that go along with her. Same thing with Tim Waltz at the uh, Michigan game, which I showed you guys uh, some of that as well. Uh, there's always a lot of buses and vans weirdly following them around. Not the SUVs that carry the Secret Service, right? Not the, not the uh, you know, uh, uh, um, ambulances that follow their campaigns, right? For safety reasons, of course, as they should. Uh, you know, in, a, in an emergency, you're going you're gonna to need medical attention. So there should be ambulances and there should be lots and lots and lots of Secret Service agents, you know, in the black SUVs, the the Suburbans and the Wagoneers and the, uh, I think I've even seen Escalades, right? Um, but the white vans and the buses, mm, I don't think those belong. Kind of interesting how those always follow. But anyway, uh, check out this clip. Live, this is uh, the next vice president of the United States, J.D. Vance. Uh, I just got a photo with him. He's taking more photos. There's like a line. There's a nice greeting line to uh, to, to meet him. Uh, but again, we're at Permanente Brothers in McKeesport, and uh, Vance is banned from uh, Permanente Brothers. He's not allowed to step foot inside the restaurant. All these people came here to meet him, okay? Um... All these people came here to meet him, and uh, we are not welcome at Permanente Brothers. It's horrible. Uh, Vance is told he is not allowed to step foot inside the restaurant. So basically, his campaign person said, screw it. We'll just stand outside the restaurant and, uh, and meet everybody and start taking photos. Um, I spoke for about two minutes with Vance about Charleroi. Uh, he was curious about how far Charleroi is from here. I told him it's about 30 minutes. Uh, he's directed me to talk to a campaign staffer about uh about coming down to Charleroi and talking to the workers who um who might lose their jobs uh in the glass factory um i'm i'm, I'm gonna stick around and follow up on this topic uh but he's interested in that uh but again i only got two minutes with him which is cool uh he, but he was very curious about Charleroi and did directly to a staffer that staffer's on the phone right now and then once that guy's done i'll, I'll circle back to him but, you know, the, the main story, again, uh, Washington Republican Party, is that Permanente Brothers, you know, this, this, this once great, you know, restaurant chain, uh, they did an event for, for Kamala. The event was rigged. Mm -hmm. They had uh, they, they had vans that came in, 
the Moon Township Republicans exposed this. They had fans that came in, and uh, and they rigged the event um, uh, with people from out of town. These are all people that I know from Allegheny County. Uh, this is kind of an organic thing. Allegheny County people came to see our next vice president, and uh, and they didn't care. Premier Abrams doesn't care. Yeah. Local citizens that weren't bust in, right? That that it, it wasn't staged, it wasn't fake. They heard that JD Vance was possibly making a visit there, and they showed up. They showed up, and not only that, but he also went in and paid for all of their meals. Uh, even though that they all can't, they canceled their orders. There, there were they were all sitting inside, and then once they heard that JD Vance couldn't go in, they all canceled their orders. But JD Vance went inside and paid for whatever they had ordered anyway uh and of course said some nice things of course you know and rightfully so you know I, I i don't expect jd vance to come out here and bash them um but look at what republicans what we have done to their reviews my goodness you don't mess with us and this is the way it should be right no violence whatsoever i don't condone any type of violence but when you discriminate against someone because of their politics it is unacceptable and should be called out every single time but check out what we did yeah look at all the nice reviews we left this place is trash food is no good i would not recommend food is subpar and overpriced trashy business with nasty dirty <laughs> go woke go broke a terrible place with rude staff <laughs> You have the free choice not to serve, and we have the free choice not to order. <laughs> Brand is stale. Server was very rude and slow. Horrible place and owners. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No violence, right? Zero violence whatsoever. But we showed up and we let them know, hey, this is unacceptable. Okay, unacceptable whatsoever. But hey, uh, let me know your thoughts, your opinions on this. I, I think this is going to be very bad for Permani brothers, um, especially after Trump wins. Because what are they going to do then? You know, um, I know if I'm ever in town, I won't be visiting Permani brothers. That's for sure. They're scratched off of that list. One thousand percent. But like I said, let me know your thoughts. Stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.